Hello, old school comic book reviews. Okay, I'm just going to ramble here. This is going to be a different thing. Uh, it's going to be sort of a rant or I'll, I'll just say I'm going to share my opinions. That's all, you know. Uh, this is regarding the fact that the Black Panther is the so-called new man without fear in Marvel Comics. Basically, all that's really happened is it's a revival of T'Challa as the Black Panther, and it's in a new direction, and he's going to be patrolling um, New York City, and he's taking over the numbering of the old Daredevil comic. And now, personally, um, I think they could have done this with the Black Panther in his own comic, with his own numbering, uh, but we'll we'll get that to, we'll get to that in a minute. Um, I've on a lot of the posts and comic book websites and things like that. A lot of people are really like their minds are just blown. They're like, "What the f? How can this be?" And um, I just wanted to throw my two cents in there. Uh, first and foremost, you know, the whole man without fear thing is not a real thing. That is, it's, well, it's not a real thing anyway. But it's not a real thing within the fictional world that the characters live. It's not like it's an actual title that Matt Murdock had to earn or, or do anything like that, you know? There's no ritual he had to go through. It's really just the tagline on the comic book. One poster, I think, had it right when he said, this whole who will be the man without fear thing, it's usually, it's really the equivalent of saying, who's going to be the next uncanny? What team will be the next uncanny? What team will be the next amazing? What hero will be the next incredible? You know what I mean? But but anyway, you know what I mean? It's it's not it's not a real thing that the characters have to deal with, you know. Um though another thing is a lot of fans and myself included, you know, I wasn't I'm not really following super super following Shadowland and things like that. But a lot of people were speculating, like I said, myself as well, as like either they'll have somebody who's part of uh Daredevil's current um supporting cast take over the comic some kind of way. Uh, I don't know, like, uh, who? Like, uh, White Tiger or, or Tarantula or somebody like that. Or they'll bring in some other street level character like Moon Knight or, uh, maybe Shang-Chi would be cool who hasn't really gotten a whole lot of, like, uh, press, you know, in the last few years. Or he hasn't had his own comic in a long time. Um, and it just kind of struck people as kind of odd because here comes a Black Panther who's had his own comic over here somewhere doesn't have a real close connection to Daredevil these days, I think it kind of knocked people for a loop. Uh, me, personally, um, I'm willing to give this comic a try just to see uh, how it is. Uh, for people who don't know, the, pre uh, the premise is basically going to be uh, the Black Panther. He's no longer King of Wakanda. He's not going to have his technology or any of his gear or... Um, or anything like that. He's basically going to be trolling New York. He's basically going to be patrolling, I believe, uh, Hell's Kitchen, which is uh, Matt Murdock's old stomping grounds. And like I said, a lot of people are like, "What? Oh no! How could you?" They're they're either mad because you know Daredevil was their favorite comic, they're really enjoying it, and they're shocked and appalled that Marvel would have the audacity to quote unquote cancel the comic. We can get to that in a little while too. Um, so they're mad for that reason, or people who are big uh, Black Panther fans are like, man, you know, why, you know, why are you depowering the character? You're taking about away everything I thought was cool, you know. How can he no longer be king? How can he no longer be, um, how long, you know, no longer have his technology and his gear and and all this other stuff that made him cool in the 2000s and stuff. Um, my first reaction though is that it's not. 100% unprecedented, you know. You can go back to the 60s and some of those old issues of the Avengers, they kind of had set up a thing where, or set up a little subplot that they really didn't do a whole lot with. And thinking about it, they actually could have done, a, they could have done something interesting with it, but they kind of like established it and then dropped it. But um, they had this thing where, you know, T'Challa wanted to learn what it's like to live in America. So he took a teaching job and he was like Mr. Charles and he was teaching at this inner city high school. I want to say, I want to say maybe it was even a Harlem high school. I'm not 100% certain because I don't have the comics anymore. Uh, but yeah, he was a teacher at a high school and he's dealing with the kids and dealing with their problems and issues and so on and so forth. Um, so there's that aspect going on. The, um, the whole thing of him not having 
a uh, uh, a kingdom or whatever. It's been done before, you know. I mean, the most the one that comes immediately t- to mind is, um, you know, especially when he first had his own comic in Jungle Action. Eric Killmonger, who was the bad guy, had basically convinced the people that, yo, yeah. Prince T'Challa, he's abandoned the country. He's abandoned the people. He's out in America hanging out with superheroes and dating pop singers, you know. And he was exiled for a while. And that whole story arc was uh, T'Challa's uh, slow journey to, you know, coming back from exile and then regaining, regaining his kingdom. And then the story right after that was he comes back to America with his girlfriend. She follows him to Wakanda. He takes care of business there. He follows her back to America. They go to the America South, and T'Challa ends up fighting the Ku Klux Klan, you know. Um, so, you know, my point being, you know, he's, you know, been in those situations where he's hanging out in America trying to get in touch with people. They've done things where, you know, he's fought crime in America. They've done things where he's, you know, not king or whatever. So it's not unprecedented. And the whole thing of like, you know, oh, well, how can he function without his technology or anything like that? Well, you know, during most of that period, or I should say most of the the 70s and 80s, it was mostly T'Challa using just his fighting skills, his agility, and his enhanced senses, you know. So, you know, he really didn't uh, have to, even though he had access to the technology and the resources and, you know, might have called somebody for one reason or another reason, he really didn't rely on that uh, stuff to do what he had to do. So, yeah, it makes sense, you know, that he would be able to still be a hero or superhero or a crime fighter or what have you, without using, you know, all the technology and whatnot. Now, the one thing that does bug me was I was, like, skimming an article, and um, the new writer, I want to say his name was David Liss. David Liss? Dan Liss? David Liss? I apologize because I should have written it down and I didn't, um, you know, make some statement about, oh, yeah, you know, T'Challa's got to, you know, find out what he's made of or he's got to prove himself capable me i think that's bunk okay i disagree with that at all that's a complete misreading of every version of that character from the 60s 70s 80s 90s 2000s to like up to right now i mean you have to the child does not have to prove anything you know maybe he needs to prove that he could take on galactus or something but he doesn't have to prove anything as a man as a leader as a superhero or anything he had to prove himself in order to become the black panther he had to you know he proved himself in his first appearance we took on the fantastic four with all his gear and his technology he proved himself as a as a low-tech superhero in the avengers so this whole idea that he has to prove himself or he's doubting himself or he wants to see what he's made of, I, I just don't buy that. I think that's a misreading of a character. That which leads me to my next big fear, you know, this being modern times and people are hip and sophisticated and grim and gritty, you know, I would be really disappointed if all of a sudden, you know, we start seeing scenes where because, you know, child is down in the streets, you know, and it's all realistic and gritty and stuff that all of a sudden T'Challa is picking up like hookers behind a bar, you know, I don't want to see that stuff, you know, I don't want to see these scenes where, you know, back in the past, if T'Challa got into a fight, he either said very little or he had something to say about nobility and honor, I don't want to see him all of a sudden say, you know, yeah, capping your ass, bitch. You know, because, you know, all of a sudden we're keeping it real now. And that's how black folks keep it real. You know, even though they're from Africa or whatever. You know what I mean? I, You know, that would be a really big disappointment to me. And I hate to say I can almost see something like that maybe happening. Just the way all sorts of other characters are acting really out of character compared to how they would have been portrayed five to ten years ago. Or I say even five years ago. But that's that's just me. That's my personal whatever. Um... Uh, but so anyway, oh, the next big thing that I have a big, I have kind of a beef with is just the whole renumbering thing. Uh, and if if you've been following comics, you know how this thing is going on, where 
that's just how Marvel Comics is hyping their comics more and more and more now. It's just a cheap two bit gimmick. And instead of saying, you know, oh, you know, we, you know, hyping the characters or the creators, they get people or they think they're getting people uh, excited because of all their renumbering and title changes and things like that, you know. Uh, like I said, you know, the Black Panther had his own comic. So why do you have to give him somebody else's numbering? Well, just to create this kind of buzz. And I guess it worked because everybody's talking about it. I'm making a stupid video about it, so I guess it worked. But, you know, it, it, really, I mean, it's it's kind of meaningless and it's kind of pointless, you know. Especially since getting to the next point, um, you know Daredevil is coming back. Well, first of all, you know a comic book called Daredevil is going to be coming back and it's going to be a big number one it's going to have a big splash and they're going to hype the hell out of it and it may or may not have crazy variant covers and all that type of stuff and then this is my prediction soon as Man Without Fear hits its next milestone issue like 550 or whatever I believe what they're going to do is they're going to switch it back and it'll be Daredevil Man Without Fear 550 and then the Black Panther will go back to his old numbering or what they might do is renumber Black Panther but include all of his series that he ever had you know the most recent one plus the Marvel Knights thing plus you know the 70s comics plus the Jack Kirby thing and plus and maybe plus the uh uh, Don McGregor stuff, so then they can say they're at issue 250 or 300 or whatever and get the hype going about that, or, you know, and, um, and then, and this is also my other prediction, I mean, I don't know, I could be wrong, but I think when they bring Daredevil back, I think they will bring it back the way that everybody thought they were going to do the new man without fear, that is, have some other character uh, take over, um, you know, the identity, you know, they'll have, you know, White Tiger or Foggy Nelson or whoever be a new Daredevil for a little bit for six, to, I'll say six to 12 months. And then after that, Matt Murdock will be back. And that's another thing. Well, it's, it's just the obvious thing that I'm sure if you've been following, you've seen it happen over and over and over again. OK, now it's going to be it's going to happen with D.D. T'Challa just went through it. He just came back. Uh, Black Panther. We all know Bruce Wayne is going to become Batman again. We all know when the Captain America movie comes back, Steve Rogers will be back to Captain America. And it's it's just a shame that you know this is this is what they've um, what they meaning the big two companies have kind of stooped to when it comes to trying to bring in new life and and you know get people interested in these old characters. Like I said, they can't say here's this old character, here's a new way of looking at him. It's okay, we'll have somebody else take over, then we'll bring back the old guy and la di da, you know, without bringing any sort of oomph or new direction or new spin on a character. But anyway. Anyway, 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 that's my opinion. Um, you know, tell me yours, you know, check out my blog, leave a comment there, leave a comment down here. Thanks. You always have a good night and take it easy.